Kumusta na kayo grade 5 learners? Ating pag-aralan ng module 3, more about polygons. At ito ang lesson 1, visualizing, naming, describing, and drawing polygons with 5 or more sides. Good day! Try to look around at your surroundings. What do you see? Figures and shapes all around. Isn't it wonderful? All the things that your eyes can see was made from different figures, shapes in all forms and sizes. Now, that is one simple form of math, I tell you. So this module will help you to understand more about polygons. After going through this module, you are expected to 1. Visualize, names, describes, and draw polygons with 5 or more sides. 2. Describes and compares properties of polygons, regular and irregular polygons. 3. Visualizes the congruent polygons. Match column A with column B. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. Number 1. I am an 8-sided polygon. 2. I am a 5-sided polygon. 3. I am a 10-sided polygon. 4. I am a 3-sided polygon. And number 5, I am a 6-sided polygon. Observe the polygons below. Choose the best answer. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. 1. If line segment AC measures 17 cm, what does line segment AB measure? A 17 mm, B 17 cm. C. 21 centimeters. D. 8 meters. Number 2. If angle A equals 90 degrees, what does angle D measure? A. 75 degrees. B. 80 degrees. C. 90 degrees. D. 109 degrees. 3. If line segment AC measures 17 centimeters, what is the perimeter of the triangle above? A. 51 and 4 hundreds centimeters B. 55 and 4 hundreds centimeters C. 58 and 4 hundreds centimeters D. 58 and 4 hundreds meters 4. Since line segment BC is congruent to line segment EF, Given that line segment EF is 24 and 400 centimeters, then line segment BC is blank. A. 24 and 400 centimeters. B. 34 and 400 centimeters. C. 90 and 400 centimeters. D. 17 and 400 meters. 5. Since Angle C congruent to angle F, given that angle B is 45 degrees, then angle E is blank. A. 45 degrees B. 95 degrees C. 180 degrees D. 270 degrees And this is Module 3, Lesson 1, Visualizing, Naming, Describing, and Drawing Polygons with 5 or more sides. Polygons are closed plane figure formed by line segments that meet at a common point. These line segments, also known as sides, meet at a common point which is called vertex. Choose the best answer. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. 1. 
I am a shape with four equal length of sides. What am I? A circle, B rectangle, C square, D triangle. 2. I have no straight lines and I am made of curves. What am I? A circle, B rectangle, C square, D triangle. Three, I have four sides but with an equal length. What am I? A circle, B rectangle, C square, D triangle. Four, I am a three-sided shape. What am I? A circle, B rectangle, C square, D triangle. Five, I have a rounded shape combined with triangle. What am I? A heart, B rectangle, C square, D triangle. Jasmine, a grade 5 student, was walking her way to her school. Look, second elementary school, suddenly, rain started to pour. Luckily, she brought her umbrella. Answer the following questions. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. What type of polygon is her umbrella? 2. How many sides does this polygon have? Take a closer look at the polygon. One common polygon that we use is the umbrella. This polygon is called an octagon. The capital letters written at its vertex are used to name each side of the polygon. It is also used to name the angles and the polygon itself. Let's try to name the sides of this polygon. This polygon has eight sides. They are line segment AB, line segment BC, line segment CD, line segment DE, line segment EF, line segment FG, line segment GH, and line segment AH. How about the angles? Let's try to name the angles of this polygon. This polygon has eight angles. They are angle A, angle B, angle C, angle D, angle E, angle F, angle G, and angle H. Now, let's try to identify the possible names of the polygon. Now that we can identify the sides and angles of a polygon, let's learn more about its type and classification. There are three types of polygon. Types of polygon Regular polygon has all equal sides and angles, while irregular polygon has an unequal side or angle. Convex polygon has every interior angle less than 180 degrees. While concave polygon has at least one angle greater than 180 degrees. Simple polygon has only one boundary 
and does not intersect the area of the polygon. While complex polygon intersects itself. Polygons can also be classified according to the number of sides. Classification of polygon according to the number of sides. Three-sided polygon, triangle. Four-sided polygon, quadrilateral. Five-sided polygon, pentagon. Six-sided polygon, hexagon. Seven-sided polygon, heptagon. Eight-sided polygon, octagon. Nine-sided polygon, nonagon. 10-sided polygon, decagon. Name the following polygon according to its sides. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. Number 1, number 2, 3, 4, and 5. Directions. Match column A with column B. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. Number 1. I have all equal sides and angles. 2. I have at least one angle greater than 180 degrees. 3. I have only one boundary and does not intersect the area of the polygon. 4. I have every interior angle less than 180 degrees. 5. I have an unequal side or angle. Supply the missing words. Choose your answer from the box below. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. Number 1. A closed plane figure formed by line segments that meet at a common point is a polygon. These line segments, also known as sides, meet at a common point which is called vertex. Number 4. A polygon with all equal sides is blank. 5. A polygon with an unequal side or angle is blank. 6. A polygon with every interior angle less than 180 degrees is blank. 7. A polygon with at least one angle greater than 180 degrees is blank. Number 8. A polygon with only one boundary and does not intersect the area of the polygon is blank and number nine a polygon that intersects itself is blank on a sheet of paper draw at least five polygons that you can see inside your home make a polygon out of a recyclable material example Fiesta banderitas made from cut-out wrappers of fruit juices. Marami salamat muli sa inyong panonood. Thank you sa inyong mga likes, sa mga comments, at sa mga share. Hanggang sa muli, paalam!